Today I'm going to be removing the front bumper on a Audi Q5. I think this is a 2011 model. Um, first thing you have to do is uh, remove all these little push-in little push -in, um, grommets, these little pins. These are not the factory ones. Someone else put these in in the past. The factory ones, you, you push in the center of them and then you can pop them up. But the, the, there's a little pin that goes in the middle that locks the, connect, the, uh, locks the pin in place. These ones don't have that. so. I'm just going to use a little grommet tool and pop all these out. With those all removed, you can just take this, pull it up like that, and just get it, get it out of the way. No? Down here, there's some little fasteners. You can see um, you use a, uh, I think a T15 Torx bit to get down there. And um, just unscrew those on both sides. So I'm gonna do that now. the car up. I'm gonna undo these Torx fasteners here. Same bit. Um, this one here, this one, and this one. Just these three. With those removed, you can take this wheel well liner, just pull it back a little bit and get to a And then you're able to uh, you're able to see back here. This this screw here attaches this uh, this bracket to the front bumper. So some of the models have a screw that goes upwards here. Um, I think some of the A4s have that. And this model does not. So nothing more you have to do that corner. Over here, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Then I'm gonna lift it up in the air. And um, up here you can see that these, just the screws on the front edge of the, of the belly pan. I'm gonna pull the belly pan down all together. Someone's got some miscellaneous random hardware in here. Um, so I'm gonna get that off, pull this belly pan down, and then there's there's a couple more screws up here. The same Torx fastener you're gonna use to uh, re to uh, remove these. And then with all of those screws at the bottom, I'm gonna pull this belly pan off and then uh, show you what's under it. All right, now that I pulled the belly pan off, I just have to remove these um, these screws here. Just the ones that attach the uh, the front bumper cover to the core support and so actually the torx bit I'm using is a T is a T20 so it's not a T15 sorry I said the wrong thing those screws look like uh, they look like this they're a little bit different than the other ones they have a little bit of a shoulder on them so keep those in a separate little pile then lower the car back down What I like to do is put um, 
Just put something underneath the bumper. Now this busted up stool I can use here. <clears throat> then just grab the corners here. And then you can pull out here like this. Do that on both sides. And then you can just pull this away. Also, it's a good idea to release this first. There's this little plug up front right here. You just push in this little tab to release that. Um, pretty easy to do. And then you can uh, pull this off. And the reason I like to put a stool there is so I can rest it on that while I'm removing the fog light plugs. See this little plugs for the fog lights on both sides. And then there you have it. Bumper is removed. So, yeah, thanks for watching.